Good morning. It's Monday the 23rd of March 2020 and I'm at a motorway services just south of Carlisle having stayed in Carlisle last night where it was absolutely freezing cold and I'm on my way back to Grimsby and uh, I put an announcement on Facebook yesterday to all, to all of the, my Facebook friends and this is specifically for the people who watch on YouTube and uh, I've decided that uh, I would be absolutely stupid to carry on with this walk under any circumstances for several reasons um, because I, I feel as if uh, having seen the responses from the government uh, yesterday and today and all the things that they're saying on Radio 4 which is something I re rarely listening, listen to but it's, uh, it all seems to be making sense to me now. I am 71 years old, so therefore I'm in a high risk group. I don't think people would like to see uh, a fit 71 year old person walking through the middle of Glasgow in empty streets and I'm likely to take an awful lot of criticism. And I don't mean this in a in a I'm not I'm not sort of bigging myself up, but I think some people might like to take a real pot shot at me if I carry on uh, sort of disobeying the general rule of a lockdown. And I want to retain my credibility. I want to retain all you people out there as friends and people that I, I communicate with. And I'm only postponing this until such time when the government give it an all clear to carry on and um, I don't want to be irresponsible I had a massive amount of mail last night and everybody wholeheartedly agrees with me on this um, I didn't get any dissent whatsoever in fact very encouraging very nice messages from lots and lots and lots of people and I, I really do appreciate that I'm very sad about this, I've put a lot of thought into this, I've put a lot of money into this and uh, it, it really is time to call it a day and go and make myself safe back in Grimsby because I, I, I'm, I'm not predicting what's going to happen but if I get stopped um, there's going to be an awful lot of questions asked about who I am. The police can trace me anyway by my Grimsby registration number and Grimsby is the only place where I feel if I'm, as if I'm going to be safe. My wife is still looking after her 98 year old father and he's not been too well recently so I can't stay there so it looks as if I might well be going back to stay in the garage or if not I'll find somewhere or if there's anybody out there in the Grimsby area who can let me park in their drive and plug in my power so I can keep warm I'll be quite happy to pay him I'm serious and um, it, it, it's not comfortable it was not comfortable last night it was very cold but that, it wouldn't bother me under normal circumstances if I was walking on a daily basis but it's not safe uh, I, I can't I can't take the risk of, of not knowing that I don't have the, the coronavirus and, and that I, I'm spreading the disease and it's as simple as that I've got to act responsibly. I'm a 71 year old and it's probably the first time I, I ever have acted sensibly as a 71 year old. So just to say to you, what am I going to do in the meantime? Well, I started re-editing um, all of the walk from the 12th of April 2018 when I set, up, set off and up to where uh, I got to John O'Groats on September the 22nd last year just before my six month break so um, if you haven't seen them already or my, my old series when I say old series the 2018 and 19 series it's all been re-edited and it's there for you to see and the comments I've had from it are uh, it's, it's good and people like it and, and so I can recommend to you because there's not going to be much on the telly, you might get a bit fed up and all the rest of it, um, then at least you've got Jim's Coastal Path Walk in bright sunshine of 2018 and all the fantastic people that I met. And I was going to do this anyway just for myself, 
as much as anything and my grandchildren and my family so that when I'm dead and gone they've got something to look at and can I say it's the same with you it, it'll bring back many good memories for a lot of you I hope and uh, and also it it's something that I want to share with you um, because I'm not going to be here forever anyway I'm feeling extremely low at the moment and uh, I would appreciate your support again so until I get the all clear from the government the walk is postponed it's not cancelled it's postponed so please continue to support me and be my friend thank you very much uh, and goodbye